Whoever cut this tube of caulking, because this is a used tube of caulking, cut it wrong. You will notice that it's cut on an angle. Don't do that. Follow the instructions. In this video, we're going to look at the best way to apply exterior caulking. If you're going to use your caulking gun a lot, spend the bucks because it's worth every penny. This one, this one's a nice caulking gun because first of all, it's got this little pin on the side so that I can poke my, my tube of caulking so that I can get it working rather than carrying around a little piece of wire or an old screwdriver or something. And as you can see, it's got sort of a uh, dual action, a dual action uh, power feed. So I feed it in this way and then it prevents it from going backwards. So I have really a lot of adjustments that are in here. Now, what caulk do you want to use? There's lots of caulking on the market. Again, you get what you pay for. You want to spend nothing? You're going to get nothing. You'll be replacing your caulking in no time. I recommend, and this is a brand name, I recommend any thermoplastic caulking. So there's a bunch of brands that are out there. Flexor is only one of them. I should get shares in this because I always sell thermoplastic caulking. Thermoplastic caulking is wonderful because number one, the color stays the color for a long, long time. Number two, it dries with a kind of a smooth surface. Number three, it's extremely, extremely elastic. The nice stuff about thermoplastic caulking is if you really, really botch it up, which happens all the time, there's no worries. Go home, have a beer, relax. Three days later, come back and you can peel it off and start over again. Oftentimes people use the word silicone and caulking as interchangeable words. They are not. Silicone is caulking. Caulking is not necessarily silicone. Silicone is a particular kind of caulking that's usually used where there's a lot of water. So for instance, around bathtubs, around kitchen sinks, etc. And believe it or not, if you read the instructions on this tube of caulking, it says to cut it off square. So it looks like that the size of that bead coming out of there is going to cover that. Take your handy dandy little poker that's on the side of your expensive caulking gun, and you're just going to poke it a few times like that. If your caulking gun does not have a handy dandy little poker, a really neat tool that you can make for yourself very simply is to get an old coat hanger, clothes hanger, and cut it so it's about seven inches long and bend the end over like it's a little L. That you can keep in your pouch and it's a perfect poker for caulking. It costs nothing. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze this kind of gently until I can see the caulking coming up the tube. So, oops, there it is. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a relationship between my hand movements and my arm movements. This takes a little bit of practice. Now, we can start at the bottom and go up or we can start at the top and go down. I don't know, whatever turns your crank. It turns my crank to start at the top, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go up here up the top. I'm just going to, you ready? I'm going to just go so that I can see the caulk can come ahead in the gun. And then when it starts coming through, I'm going to ease off on the pressure. Right? So there it is, it's starting. I'm actually going to hold the tube of caulking at 90 degrees to the bead. And I'm going to be squeezing and coming down nice and evenly. I'm not going to stop. If I run out of caulking because my my hand has squeezed right to the bottom. I just stop. I go backwards a tiny little bit, and then I start squeezing again, and I come down again some more. Don't do this. That's forbidden. Why? Number one, who wants to ingest toluene? Not me, not you. Number two, this caulking actually, you'll interfere with its chemical process by putting human oils on it. So even if you lick your finger, which is what people used to do all the time with a type of caulking called mono back in the old days, or with silicone, don't do it here. This is a beautiful bit of caulking. Anybody can do it with a little bit of practice. And it's going to be the thing that's actually going to protect water from going into our shed. And that's how you apply caulking the best way. <laughs>
Spent less time kirking, cursing, more time working. Less time cursing, more time working. You can cut and paste that one.